Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning dialogue where we are going to discuss about the continuous random variable. As you know that we have started the topic random variable and we have seen its types. So what are the two types of random variable? One is the discrete random variable and second one is the continuous random variable. If you want to learn this in detail in the definition so you can go through the previous video lectures. Also, we have uh, completed this topic where we have seen the uh, definition of probability function, probability distribution and the example based on it. Now onwards, we are going to concentrate on this continuous random variable. So first of all, we will see the definition of continuous, uh, the probability function and the distribution function in this continuous random variable and then we will be starting with the examples okay so let us start with the definition of probability function definition of probability function of continuous random variable so let x be a continuous random variable then then the function then the function f of x then the function f of x is called is called probability function is called probability function or sometimes this function is also called as density probability density function probability probability density function if if the two conditions are satisfied and these two conditions are number one f of x being probability so it must be greater than or equal to zero and the second thing is second thing is integration from minus infinity to infinity f of x dx should be equal to 1. Okay, so uh, if you remember the definition of probability function in the discrete random variable, there also we have the same condition, only the matter of writing is different. The first condition is as it is. The second condition was of, uh, was of sum of all the probabilities equal to 1. There was a sum but here it is a continuous sum and what is continuous sum? Continuous sum is nothing but an integration, right? So these two conditions, one to note I would like to make uh, for this probability function. So the very first note is about uh, if you have to find out probability of a less than equal to x less than equal to b then it is given by integration a to b f of x dx okay so this is your lower limit this is your upper limit also also whether you have a less than equal to x less than equal to b or you have a less than x less than equal to b or you have probability of a less than equal to x less than b or you have probability of a less than x less than b all these are same and you can just replace any one of these by integral a to b f of x dx so this is what the definition of probability function uh, for continuous random variable we have now let us see the next definition that is the probability of Sorry, the distribution function or the cumulative distributive function of continuous random variable. So the next is distribution. Distribution function of a continuous random variable. So let x be a continuous random variable. x be a continuous random variable then 
then the function then the function capital F of X is called is called distribution function or cumulative distribution function if it is defined as if it is if it is defined as if it is defined as what capital F of X that is the notation for distribution function we are following from minus infinity to x f of v d okay so if the function f of x is defined like this then we say that this is a distribution function now likewise the previous uh, flow with the previous definition let us have some note so the very first note that i would like to mention here is about probability of a less than equal to x less than equal to b is same as is same as probability of x less than equal to b minus probability of x less than equal to a and what is this this is nothing but my f of b minus f of a okay also we have a relation between this distribution function and the probability function for continuous random variable and that relation says ddx of f of x is same as f of x okay so this is the result we have this is very handy result when we are going to solve problems so sometimes we'll be given a probability function sorry distribution function and with the help of that you can find out the probability function or if you are given a probability function you can take integration of it to get the distribution function and so on so i want you to just uh, go through this these definitions carefully if okay uh, in order to get the problems or in order to solve the problem based on this topic okay so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day